Boom. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Unconquered Training, volume number 18. Uh, we are Monday morning uh, after Easter, so happy Easter. Still, hopefully uh, the weekend's going really well. Um, I understand last workout of the week on Saturday was the 5K run. Um, massive shout out to you guys. Richie was just saying that you know, a lot of people, all of you guys got out there and done something, whether it was a, uh, I think we had a 10K ride on, on the assault bike, on the death bike, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, 5K rows, lots of 5K runs, walks, hikes. Um, so massive effort. Like if you turn up to a CrossFit box and a 5K runners program, and you're here, we've got you here when you've got, when you're here, if you don't know what we're doing, hey, we catch you by surprise and you just do that. But the fact you guys got out there and done it off your own back, you already knew what was coming up. Hey, well done. That's awesome. That shows that uh, our community is strong and wants to get in behind all the programming. Yeah. So good job on that. Good job. Um, same as last week, we're going into the CrossFit, uh, the games.crossfit.com fundraiser workout. Um, this week we're looking at a classic 21-15-9 burpee, burpee, burpee with some skipping in between. So 100 double unders to start, 75 double unders in between, and then 50 double unders before that last one. So awesome little workout there. Um, Richie and I were just discussing these numbers. Classic, we call them classic CrossFit numbers. So anyone that wants to do a little bit of research on this sort of stuff, a lot of this stuff comes from that Fibonacci sequence, is that correct? Yeah, Richard? something like that, yeah. So something like that. So a lot of this stuff is based around science um, from a very, very long time ago, you know, and it's uh, not just random numbers that are thrown at you. It's really, uh, really well thought out. Um, so they can uh, stimulate the, the, the best results that we can possibly get for you. Those are the reasons why these types of numbers, the three, six, nines, you know, the 21, 15, nines, why those types of numbers keep popping up in the CrossFit world. Um, it's something that, uh, uh, you know, that they, we, we enjoy getting behind and, and something that, you know, there's always some sort of science behind this sort of stuff. Um, so, warm up. We're gonna go run through those joint circles again. You guys will be getting pretty familiar with that sort of stuff. Hopefully now we've been doing it for, uh, you know, coming up three weeks. We're starting to see some benefits of all those joint circles. I know when I first started doing it after about a month, I really started feeling like my joints were loosening up and feeling like they're just flowing and sliding and gliding a lot better than they, they, they were. Um, just because you're getting that synovial fluid running through those joints um, and those things, you know, are, are moving in that full range all the time. So hopefully you guys will start noticing the difference of doing this sort of stuff. Again, you know, it comes back to that stuff. We do these things because they work. Go into a bit of a 400 meter jog, jog run, um, just to get that uh, core body temperature up. And then we go, because we're doing a, quite a few double unders today, uh, we go into a bit of a calf and leg stretch. So your classic down here, just spend a bit of time just walking, warming through those calves moving those things through. You don't need to do too long a stretch. You don't want to take too much of that bounce out of your uh, out of your muscles and stuff. So just a bit of a quick stretch through that sort of stuff, two to three minutes, just to make sure those types of things uh, are well warmed up after a little run. We're then gonna go into a little EMOM. So three minutes, every minute on the minute, you are gonna perform 10 double under attempts and three push-ups. Okay, so three, two, one, go. Skip, you can do single unders. We can do double unders, so two turns of the rope, one jump, and then three push-ups. <laughs> You're in the shot of light there, Bull. Can you see me down here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, three push-ups for, <laughs> uh, for the three minutes, just as a bit of a precursor to the workout to get those, uh, warm up those burpees and stuff. So, workout, perform 100 double unders, 21 burpees. So again, we got that two turns of the rope, one jump, 100 double unders. Um, challenge someone to do that as an unbroken set. You. you know, if you break, go back to one. Yep. You know, and continue on um, and see if you can get that sort of stuff done as an unbroken. It's just a bit of an, uh, a, an extra challenge over and above. RX you don't plus. don't have to do that as the workout. Yeah. Um, obviously, the one that you miss, don't count that rep and then continue on. Again, all of this stuff is on the games.crossfit.com. Yeah. Um, they've got all the, they've got a little video there of your movement standards and everything. Um, into 21 burpees. So burpee, we turn the hat around. 
into the light bulbs. <laughs> <laughs> it's this like just disappears. Well, this is so funny. Just roll down, chest to the ground, jump up. Happy days. Well, that burpee's right. looking really good. Of 75 double unders. 15 reps of 15 double unders. Nine reps of scaling option. Woo hey. Scaling. You're gonna go check out the throw. 50 jumping jacks. You got are you sure that this is part of the scaling? You this is see me do jumping this jacks. This is again. his favorite. My uh, favorite maneuver. Move, they movement. are it's actually jumping jacks. 50, 35, 20, 15, 12, 9. So jumping jacks. <laughs> 35 off. Good then job, down coach. To the ground. 15 burpees. Now those scaling option for those burpees to jump out of the sun. That can be step back, lie down, step up. Give us a little jump, make sure that hip's nice and open. That's a long way scaled. Yeah. You know, we'll come back to the RX workout. If you don't have double unders, but the jumping jack's a little easy. I know in the, uh, normally they'll triple the numbers. That's a lot though, that's 300 mm. jumps. Let's go double the numbers on there. And then if you want to continue to skip as a single skip. So 200, 150. 100 as the single under skips and then same 21 15 9 burpees or you can come down to the 15 12 9 just write up on yeah. your scoreboards what you guys do i think it's a 15 minute cap time cap yeah, which is so good we've got a 15 yep, yeah definitely a 15 minute time cap on that um obviously after that again you want to look at stretching those calves out maybe doing a bit of a doorway stretch to stretch those pecs out so plenty of 45 burpees in total there um so, you know, it's a, uh, again, that's a deceiving little workout. Very deceiving. These things, they look, they're like, oh, that's not too bad. Mm. If you come out the back end of this and you still think that that's not too bad, just rinse and repeat. Take 15 minutes rest and have another crack at it. <laughs> you just go fast enough. So, exactly. you know, that thing is a very deceiving little workout. Um, have a, you know, just throw it out there again. Send it, like we always like to say, go for it and see what you can do on that sort of yeah. stuff. Cool. That's awesome. Happy yeah, boys. Run on. See you tomorrow. Happy days.